Real Madrid, currently sitting third in La Liga after that disappointing defeat at the weekend. And more bad news for them regarding Eden Hazard today. He will be out for at least a month, meaning that he will miss the Champions League ties against Atalanta for La Liga matches as well, uh, leading up to this. This signing just gets worse and worse, doesn't it, Jules? Yes, worse and worse. It's an absolute nightmare. And of course, you could put responsibility on, on Hazard himself, although at Chelsea, he never had those, that, that kind of, of, of injury record, really. But, but since arriving at the club, it's been, it's been a disaster, really. We have to be honest. As good as he is, as, as, as promising as he can be sometimes when he played, this is just not, it's not good enough to, to miss so many games, to be such a burden for this club, for this team when clearly they bought you for all that amount of money to build the team around you almost, for you to be such a key part of that team and yet you've never been there because you've never been able to play and really give your best and, and I think this is another huge setback. Even for him, I mean mentally, psychologically, it must be so hard because it's also not his fault. It's not his fault if Thomas Meunier almost broke his ankle when PSG played against Real Madrid at the start of last season. Mm -hmm. You know, this is not, nothing to do with, with Eden Hazard. And we had this argument with Alejandro Moreno not long ago because he said, yeah, but, you know, he was overweight when he joined the, the team for pre-season and this and that. Okay, I understand that. But he's always been like that even at Chelsea. And yet again, he never had those injuries at Chelsea. I think he's been really unlucky. But... Of course, he has to be now one of the worst signing that they've ever made. At least 100 million they paid for him, and of course he was. Well, I don't it. think he's helped himself, but but then but then the other scenario is like it's mother nature. He's getting older, yeah. and the older you get, the harder you have to push yourself, and the more injuries you get, and then you start chasing uh, your fitness and rushing back from injuries at times, and it just compounds itself. I mean, and then. You know, you add, the, you add the luck into that, or the, the bad luck as well, and then it, it, it just snowballs. It can happen for players like that. I mean, it really can. Everybody's body is different. And when, you, when you're a player, if you know you're susceptible to injuries, then if you want to prolong your career, like, like the, the top guys, like Ronaldo, like Messi, you have to adjust your lifestyle. Right. The question would have to be asked with... Eden Hazard, has he adjusted his, his, his training schedule, his lifestyle, his game, all of these things, has he, as every year's gone past and he gets older and he picks up even more injuries, it becomes more difficult. I know, I've been there and I've seen other players. I've seen it happen to them. And it's a never-ending cycle once this happens. Unless you can take a long, long period off and really rehab properly and reassess, this is probably going to just continue through the rest of his career. And what's interesting, kind of compelling to the struggles that he's had, we talk about the game against Atalanta, him being available or not available doesn't really make too much of a difference does it, to the discussion, considering how little he's contributed over the last 18 months. No, and that was the big move that he wanted, wasn't it? I mean, he carried Chelsea for yeah. a long, long time. I mean, he was, he was the talisman. And he went in there with a reputation that he could somewhat fill the, the void left by by Ronaldo, nobody's going to fill that void totally. We, we understand that. But he was going to go in there and he was going to help drive this team. But you saw the graphic there, he's, he's missed more games than he's, yeah. than he's played. And for the money that they're spending on, on uh, transfers and wages, that is for Real Madrid just not going to cut the mustard. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.